Next, we do Arya communicating the external being experience one year update. So I'm going to be talking about something completely different. Um, for those of you that were here last year, um, I presented our initial model for uh, novel uh, graphic patient education tool. So the, this project started back in 2017, uh, basically as a way to kind of fill a what we found to be a gap in uh, patient education materials and radiation oncology. Um, so if you look at uh, patient traditional uh, patient education materials and radiation oncology, they're well above the, NASH, the NIH and CPC uh, readability recommendations of six to eighth grade level, uh, averaging anywhere from the tenth to the to 13th grade reading level. So we set out to basically design a just a novel education tool to improve patient comprehension, understanding, and understanding compared to traditional text-based methods. Um, and then to assess whether this um, was actually useful in clinics and if they actually uh, help decrease patient anxiety. Um, so our goals were to basically uh, create a uh, patient education guide that will be applicable across a, a broad number of clinics. Um, the most important thing for us, I think, was really to create something that ch shifted the paradigm of the patient um, provider uh, consultation from a unidirectional flow of information to a more bi-directional conversation. Um, so we really wanted it to be a discussion and not just um, a way to provide information. Uh, and then we also wanted it to be um, easy, distributable, and uh, have a low production cost. And uh, we wanted to be able to customize it for different disease sites, uh, patient-specific needs, and clinic-specific needs. Uh, so last year, I presented um, our uh, initial or prototype for uh, communicating the external beam radiation therapy experience, um, Seabury. Uh, so in terms, this was basically a collaboration between uh, the Illinois Institute of Design and the University of Chicago. I've had the privilege of working with Dr. Golden for the past three years, um, kind of developing this. Designers, it was a class of 12 design, uh, design masters of design students um, that worked to develop the initial Seabury. Uh, designers uh, conducted structured interviews with patients, family members, as well as uh, team members from the radiation oncology department. Um, interviews were coded for um, stakeholder insights with that led to design principles and eventually we came up with the prototype that I showed before that co um, covered uh, the radiation uh, therapy experience. Um, I think one of the best thing or the most interesting parts of our prototype initially was this uh, my information section which allows uh, the provider to ha um, have a specific dis a discussion that's specific to the patient's needs. So, um, these are kind of the principles that we developed from uh, Seabury. Um, so one flash forward one year, where are we now? Uh, Seabury was released publicly for download in December of 2019. Since then, we've had more than 100 downloads. I think when I checked yesterday, we were at about 120. Um, I think the, the, and this is internationally, so I think we have people from UK as well as Germany who've downloaded this, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, and then I think best, the most interesting finding of this is that most attendings or uh, practitioners on a scale of one to five were quite likely to use Seabury at initial consultation. So we did do a perceived benefit study that looked at, um, uh, that asked uh, patients in active follow-up as well as practitioners whether um, they basically thought it would be useful as well as um, whether they thought it would decrease patient anxiety. And we did find that um, it was perceived to be useful as well as to improve patient anxiety. And also, um, compared to text-based, uh, text-heavy traditional text-based materials, Seabury, the graphic novel component of Seabury was found to be quite useful. Um, so with, given all of this, we then set out to develop something uh, for gynecologic Reiki therapy this year. So we uh, worked with uh, IAT to develop um, I guess kind of what I've been passing around I'm out of time, but um, I think what's great about this um, is that we were able to take uh, the concepts of brachytherapy therapy and uh, bring them down to what is 
fits the NIH and CPC uh, recommendations for readability. So I think what is an insurmountable task to me to explain interstitial brachytherapy at a seventh grade reading level, um, our designers were able to do that. Uh, the prototypes that you have right now are on an eight and a half by 11. The actual um, full size one is um, 11 by 17. So if anybody would like to take a look at that, I do have a few copies of those. Um, this is folded a little, a little bit different than Seabree. Um, we tried to make it a little bit more intuitive. Um, and then future directions, uh, we're working on prospectively evaluating both uh, Seabree and Cogby. Um, if you guys would like to download Seabree, it is available for, for download at this website. Um, uh, we're going to be translating Seabree into different languages. We're currently working on Spanish. And then um, we were fortunate enough to receive the ROI Personalized Radiation Therapy Research Award this year, and we're going to be working um, with IIT again to develop lung, prostate, and breast specific um, discussion guides. Thank you. Unfortunately, there's no time for. Uh... <laughs>